us a bit about the car, mate. Um, it's a Mitsubishi Colt Rally Art, uh, yeah. 2007. Um, I've had it for about three years now. Yep. Um, I remember getting it from Frankston. Um, well, actually, what happened was um, I had a little Lancer um, before then. That's where I learnt, I guess, how to go with cars and sort of yeah. introduce me to the whole car thing. Yep. And then I uh, met this mate of mine, Jay. Uh, it was pretty funny. Um, when I got that Lancer, it got rear-ended on its birthday. I did a lot of work to it, you know, freshened it up and took it out for a 15-minute cruise and literally, bang. It was a, it was a car that I was going to track. Yeah. Um, it was going to be a great car to learn on. And then one time a mate came in, he was like, saw me playing basketball, and he was like, oh, dude, where's the, uh, where's the Lancer? I don't see it nowadays. And I was like, well... Something happened to it, and he goes, oh, no. <laughs> Showed him the pictures, and then he goes, like, oh, no. So what's next? I was um, thinking about the next car, which was um, the lineup was actually the MPS, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. XR5 Turbo, yeah. um, something rear-wheel drive. I thought about V35 yeah. or 350Z, yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah, those, those could be a cool, pretty, uh, cool little cars that you can drive. Yeah. Um, but he goes like, mm, okay. Um, but I said I really want a car that you know do a lot of gore. You know, I can I can have a lot of fun in the gore. That's the the best thing about it. And then he said he goes he goes to me he goes, have you ever have you ever driven a Colt Rally Art? I looked at him and I was like, come on man, you don't have to do me like that. <laughs> and we all both had a laugh. He goes like, no, I'm actually serious. Like you should before you drive it, you need to uh, before you knock it, you got to drive it. I said, all right, all right, I'll trust you. And then he gave me some links, and I, was, I saw this one over at Frankston, and then I did, <laughs> walked over to it, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> look at this thing. Yeah. And then um, I took it up for a drive, and I was like, okay, all right, that's, that's fun, yeah. that's really fun. Yeah. And I could, see, I could see how fun it would be in the gore, and I was like, oh yeah, this could be, this could be the car. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I, after that, um, did a bit more work to it, then it was the first car that I tracked, yeah. and then... Um, it just snowballed from there, and then 300,000 later, 300,000 kilometers later on, it's still, it's still kicking. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's not what bad. Uh, 178. Okay. Yeah, with no coolant and very, very dark oil. <laughs> That's what I remember it. First thing I did to it was a blow off valve. Um, that was a, a gift uh, from my mate Jay. Yeah. And then later down the track, um, the things that I've done to it is sort of like out of necessity. Like for example, I I started track. I was going to a track day, the first one, Broadford, I, I believe, oh, yeah, yeah. back in 2019. Yeah. And um, the manifold cracked on me. I think uh, five days before it. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. I gotta fix that. It would sound like a tractor. I was getting these, yeah. um, you know, it just didn't didn't run right. I was like, all right, well, I gotta fix that. Um, after that, I took it out or whatever, and I, I thought to myself, well, if I'm gonna replace the manifold, I might as well ma um, replace the turbo itself, yeah. and then it snowballed from there. I was like, oh, yeah, I might as well go through the whole lot. Yeah. But I think the in terms of path uh, mods wise, um, the the whole build was actually for just to to be a really fun like Great Ocean Road Runner because yeah. I used to live there and yeah. I grew up there and I used to work there when I I used to work at the petrol station there and I used to have the um, the morning shift so yeah. I had the the whole morning like I go up there at about I don't know 6 5 five thirty or whatever yeah. to open up the shop I had the whole Great Ocean Road to myself yeah. and especially during the winter times yeah. and the thing was um, I wanted to build the car solely for that yeah. I didn't know I was going to track then and then I put, you know, tires or whatever, wheels and tires, and then, you know, the suspension. I tried MCA for the first time. I was like, oh, they're, they're not bad. Um, and then I kept it that way for a while. And then I managed to find some parts, because it's really hard to find parts for it, obviously. So I managed to find some parts that are like off, you know, record colts that are, you know, that bin their colts or whatever. And, oh, it's still got some parts on it. I'll be able to snatch that off them. Um, so I started going with the power and I was like, oh yeah, it jumped from 90 kilowatts of the wheels to, I think it was like 110, 120 kilowatts yeah. of the wheels. And that was like a hoot to drive. Yeah. And then I went for bigger wheels or whatever. And then later down the track, I ended up with the bigger turbo. Well, yeah. not bigger turbo, but just a different turbo. Yeah, 
It's a hybrid turbo. Uh, yeah. It's just an Arashi 15G. Yep. Um, it's just what it is essentially is a, pretty much the same exhaust housing. Yep. Um, different internal, slightly bigger compressor wheel. Yeah. Right. That's that's all it is. And yeah, and and bigger wastegate, yeah. uh, internal wastegate, and it's been a popular choice for um, the Colt community. Um, and we made pretty much about 150 at the wheels, and then yeah. it's not bad for you know, yeah, it's like a, yeah, a small car, like yeah, 1100, like a, somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, so it's not bad, it, it boogies uh, for what it is. Yeah. But the thing was, I wanted to um, make it as linear as I can, as be as responsive yeah. as I can, so to make it a really fun go run. It's not about top end. Yeah. And the guy that tuned it actually was from SA, yeah. and he drives the Colt himself, he hill climbs one, he loves it to bits, and he did it as a remote tune. Um, in terms of setup though, as a engine wise, we got the turbo, um, you know, LSD now, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I see you put that in, that makes a big difference. Huge, it changed the car, I was like, I remember when, that was a, the, a month ago or whatever, that, that last uh, Winton double dayer. It just changed the car. I was like, I, I don't remember being able to um, hit this apex. I, I don't remember just sliding off. Yeah. It just like holds it, and you can actually start powering the powering out of corners, which was fantastic. Yeah. It took me a while to get used to that, but um, yeah, and it was relatively easy to put in. Yeah. Um, when I, when I put, literally when I split them up, it just popped out. It was like, oh yeah. I remember people always jumping in the car, like, oh, has a talk steer on this, is it real bad? I was like, yeah. it's not that bad, man, like, just, just hold the, hold the steering wheel, you'll be fine. <laughs> and, like, what would you say to anyone that's looking at buying one? Um, that's a great question, I, I do get a bit of, um, a fair few questions about that over, you know, obviously Instagram and, um, on Facebook, and people oh, yeah. reaching out, and, um, oh, has, you know, what, what, what I should look for. I think definitely go for it because they're so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> they're so cheap. Even even with the COVID phase went through and some some cars went up, they stayed relatively you know the same. It's like you know ranging from six to eight. Yeah. So it's really good, a really good condition. You'd be looking at nine or ten. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely because they're so cheap and they're really reliable and it's a good car to learn on. And you know the, the parts won't cost you as much. Um, and some some cold parts, the basic cold parts can fit. Some don't. You just gotta find which ones yeah, which. Yeah. But no, definitely. I think it's a it's a fun little car to get into, uh, especially for those like like myself back in you know last year whatever starting out track. It's a, it's a good car to start learning. Yeah, yeah it's funny. There's this car. Every time I, I remember bringing it on, bringing it to meets uh, over in Melbourne, and they just it's just like this little car. And you see in the the other cars, the Supras and the the GTRs and everything. Even with my mates, just lining them up, it always looks out of place. And then when you drive it, it's it's pretty quirky because it's just a car that shouldn't be doing that stuff. You know?